Why did it take you so long? Miss Han, have you decided to be with me? Ling Zong Ye? Sorry, I mistook you for someone else. Why are you here? Why can't I be here? Miss Han, haven't had enough to drink? Why not come to my place for a drink? Let's go. No need. No need. No need. Come on. So you're not answering my call? Just so you can flirt here? Han Qing. Han Qing. You can't drink anymore. I told you to drink less. I'm not drunk. All right, you're not drunk. My name is Han Qianyan. I'm not just a thousand-year-old seductress. I'm also a thousand years sober. All right, all right, you're the best. Okay? Be careful, you might catch a cold. Sister Yun, someone is calling you. Okay, I'll be right there. Ah, bring me some more liquor. All right. You stay right here. Wait for me. Don't go anywhere, got it? Don't take too long. All right, I know. Don't be too long. Got it. Why did it take you so long? Miss Han, have you decided to be with me? <gasps> Lin Zong Ye? Sorry, I mistook you for someone else. Why are you here? Why can't I be here? Miss Han, haven't had enough to drink? Why not come to my place for a drink? Let's go. No need. No need, no need. Come on. So you're not answering my call? Just so you can flirt here? Mr. Feng. Who Miss Han flirts with? That's her business. And her freedom. What do you think? Assistant Han. I'm talking to you. President Lin is right. This is my business, and my freedom. Sikian, don't be like this. You'll scare her. I have important matters to discuss with my assistant. Could you please give us some space, Uncle? <laughs> but 
Very sensible. Miss Han. I'll be waiting nearby. Call me if you need anything. It's been three days. You haven't been answering my call. Just to see him? Mr. Feng. You're already married. Why are you still coming to me? What exactly do you want? It should be my question. I've told you before. Let me go. I give up. I can't take it anymore. Han Qing. You haven't caught your fish yet. Why give up? There are plenty of fish in the sea. You're a mere one of them. Good. Very good. Han Qing? Han Qing? <laughs> yeah, Miss Han, you're sober now? <laughs> I still have many bottles there. Do you want me to bring them over? Let's continue. Drink it yourself. Just joking, I'm concerned about you. Careful, it's hot. You're still as clumsy as usual. How can I not worry? Or should I find a man for you? Right? A reliable one? I've had enough. I have something else to handle, you guys chat. Feeling unhappy? Not at all. Don't move. Your hair is messed up. Don't push it. <sighs> this nephew-in-law of mine, he's greedy and lecherous. You're in more danger with him than with me. President Lin, it's getting late. Do you need a ride home? Really, no need. <laughs> Have a good dream. Sister, what kind of love triangle is this? You have so much romance around you. Why don't you share some with me? I can share your burden? I really don't know. If you're my bestie or my frenemy. If you ask me, good men are extinct in this world. When you find someone rich and loyal, who cherished you, you better hold on tight. How can you tell they're rich? <laughs> they're similar to my husband? Yeah. Right? Open the door. Why would you come? 
He drove you home? That doesn't seem to concern you. Han Qing, my patience has limits. I don't understand what you're saying. Fine. Then I'll make it clear. You're drunk. What do you think I am? What do you hope I think you? Mrs. Fang? Han Qing. I've always only think you as you. Survival of the fittest is the law of the animal kingdom. At this moment, I am the weaker one. I'm afraid you'll fall for me. Even more afraid I'll fall for you. At this moment, will I completely fall? We can't be like this. I heard Mrs. Fung is coming today. I've never met her. You'll see her in a moment. Here she comes. Go, go, go. Where's Feng Sikian? President Yin, welcome. Mr. Feng isn't here. Hey, you guys. Where did Feng Sikian go? He's really not here. Not here? How's the task I assigned you coming along? Did you keep a close eye on her? President Yin, I think Assistant Han isn't just what she looks like. We need time to figure out. All right. Listen up. You better keep a sharp eye here. Don't let anything go wrong, understand? Don't worry, President Yin. I'll keep a close watch. <laughs> Take care, President Yin.
Assistant Han. Officials are there to inspect the engineering bid. Why are you still here? Ah, uh, I'll be right there. I've got what you wanted. Release my dad. Assistant Han, you really didn't disappoint me. Then... See you tonight. See you tonight. Feng Sikian, you forced my hand. Hello, Assistant Han. I'm Ji Wei Jun. Where's Yin Yi? She couldn't make it. I'm filling in for her. Hmm. Let's have a drink. President Ji, you came for Miss Yin. Surely you want more than just a drink, right? I'm here just because... I hope you can keep secrets. My decision is Yin Yi's decision too. To be honest... I've always been seeking like-minded partners. Being a follower isn't what I want. Then what do you want, President Ji? I heard you've succeeded in the task Yin Yi gave you. Hand it over. What can you give me then? You're a smart person. A smart knows what's best to him. You better keep your eyes peeled. Once I take down Feng Sikian, both of us will have an easier time. Otherwise... <laughs> Are you threatening me? Threatening sounds too harsh. This is a win-win. Since it's a win-win, you should follow my plan. doesn't always lead to victory. But if we don't take the chance, how do we know who can turn the table?
，我想我不住了。对对对，现在还是旅游旺季，人生就可以了。My brother-in-law and Yin Yi haven't arrived yet, but you're already here. Let's have a drink. You're here too. I heard there's a good show today. I came to watch it. Today is our family banquet. Hope you have fun, President Lin. 这个、Long time no see, Chairman Feng. President Ji. The title, Chairman Feng, might need to change soon. Chairman Feng, you probably didn't expect that I've long held more shares than you. Your position as chairman might need to be vacated. <sighs> Long time no see, Chairman Feng. President Ji. The title Chairman Feng might need to change soon. Huh? Chairman Feng, you probably didn't expect my shares have long exceeded yours. <sighs> And with this stamped appointment letter, <sighs> listen up, everyone. From today on, I am the chairman of Wanli. This is really great. I feel a lot lighter. Come on, let's all raise a glass. Congratulations to the new chairman of Wanli Group, President Ji. But I'm curious. Who appointed you? And where did you get that seal? <sighs> What are you doing? I am the chairman of Wanli. Let go of me. Chairman. Do you know it's illegal to steal a seal? Take him away! You! <laughs> What are you guys doing? Let him go! Honey, save me! Pan Ching, how dare you trick me? You all teamed up to deceive me, right? Scammers! Hold your tongue. <laughs> Yin Yi, you actually dared to trick me.
Dad, I'm leaving now. What's going on? Director Yin. Ji Weijun was dissatisfied with your promotion for Chairman Feng, so he stole the seal, trying to become the chairman of Wanli. I was asking him, why are you interrupting? Director Yin, she's my assistant. She's your assistant? Yes. All the evidence is here. Is there anything else you'd like to explain? Using the identity of an assistant. To meddle in the affairs of our Yin family. Who do you think you are? Miss Han, you should know your place. Don't seduce the wrong person. Chairman Feng had an agreement with Pei Dong. To take over Hua Jin, first he must marry Yin Yi. Secondly, never divorce. Miss Han, you're in the prime of your life. Don't interfere in someone else's marriage. We can't be like this. I underestimated your sensibility. I overestimated your sensibility. Work with me. To ferret out the mole. Only then can I let you go. It seems... You have already seen through their plans. And want to turn their scheme against them. Han Qing. I can only trust you now. Because you, like me, have no choice. Yes. I have no choice. And have fallen this far. Can you let me go? I don't want to be trapped deeper. Han Qing, I hope you can be wise. Whether it's you or me. We are just pawns of the Yin family. As for your father's debt, I will handle it. You don't need to sacrifice yourself anymore. You can try to trust me. Ji Weijin will try to sideline you at the shareholder meeting next month. He wants to split Wanli. From today, act well in this play with me. I will walk the remaining path with you. Are you tricking me, Feng Sikian? Trust me, Han Qing. Can I trust you? Brother-in-law, you seem to have misunderstood. Miss Han is my woman. <laughs> Oh, 
It's not too late for me to announce it now, right? Han Qing. It's all my fault. From now on, I'll put your feelings first, okay? To think that President Lin and my assistant are in a relationship. Do I have to report everything to you? Just curious. How long has this been going on? Before you joining in Huajing? We've only just started recently. I'm asking you, Feng Zikian. Enough. Over an outsider. Look what you two have turned into. One after another. Both have poor judgment. Brother-in-law, she is not an outsider. She really is my woman. Hey, Dong, it's time to go to the hospital. Everyone, disperse. You better explain yourself clearly to me. I was used by Feng Xiqian too. Whether it's Lin Zongyi or Feng Xiqian, their feigned affection or pretense are just tools for them to check each other. You mean, publicly acknowledging your Lin Zongyi's fiance was just to protect Feng Xiqian? Miss Han, you're deeply trapped too, aren't you? Miss Yin, power and desire are games for you, rich folks. I can't and don't want to play. I want to end our partnership. You want out? Han Qing, it's not that easy. You and Feng Xiqian are already divorced, aren't you? You already knew? I don't care who's fooling whom between you two, but please don't fool me anymore. Miss Han, name your price. How much do you want? Ten times? A hundred times? I'll give it to you. Tell me your reason. I promised Wei Jun. I must help him. Bring down Feng Sikian and make him take over Hua Jing. Otherwise, he won't want me. I really love him, Han Qing. I can't be without him. I'm begging you, help me. Just this one last time. Just help me one last time, okay? Otherwise, I'll send you and your dad to prison. Everyone has to pay a price for what they've done, you and I both. If you insist on this, then I have nothing to say. Our partnership is over. You come back. Miss Yin, you're just like me. Trapped deeper and deeper. Almost forgetting yourself. Han Qing.
Open the door. Lin Zongyi isn't sincere about you. If not for the benefits, he wouldn't play along with you. So, Mr. Feng, are you sincere? When Master Yin slandered me, you didn't argue, you weren't angry. What were you really thinking? Now you come accusing me? Don't you think you're being a bit too much? Han Qing, even though I knew you were sent by Yin Yi, I still kept you by my side. I knew you just wanted to use me to get rid of Yin Yi, but I still let you use me. What do you think is the reason? Feng Xiqian, don't forget, we're just cooperating. You should trust me. You can only trust me now. I came today just to tell you. I divorced Yin Yi long ago. Master Yin wanted to use you to threaten me into remarrying Yin Yi. I originally planned to make public the relationship between Yin Yi and me, but I didn't expect Lin Zongyi would suddenly step in and mess up my plan. Han Qing. I've laid all my cards on the table. I've known all along. But you never trusted me. I never trusted you either. From the beginning to the end, we were just using each other. It's my fault. I didn't tell you sooner. I won't do it again. Mr. Feng, now you are deeply trapped yourself. You can't even protect yourself. How can you protect me? You might as well take some time to think it over. I'm going to live my own life now. Mr. Feng, it's getting late. You should head back and rest. Han Qing. Have you ever... Truly cared about me? I didn't tell you right away. It's my fault. I won't do it again. Mr. Feng, you're in trouble yourself now. You can't even protect yourself. How can you protect me? Why don't you take some time to think about it? I'll live my own life. Mr. Feng, it's getting late. Go back and rest. Han Qing. Have you... Ever been sincere with me at all? Mr. Feng, you're my client. I've never been sincere with any client.
I promised you before. To help you get rid of Yin Yi's control. I did it. Is this what you wanted? Yes. You're lying to me, aren't you? You're being deceitful, right? Is it really what you wanted? Yes. Fine. Take care of yourself. I've never compromised my principles for money. But at this moment, I wish I only loved money. Because I'd never lose control if I only loved money. Mr. Feng, I'm sorry. Forgive me for being helpless. Hello. I did as you said. I'm completely done with Feng Sikian. I'll keep my promise. Leave Hua Jing. Let my father go. Mr. Yin, everything is back to normal. She's already resigned. Don't worry, I'll let you know if there's a problem. Han Qi, don't think I can't ruin you just because you're leaving. If I can't get what I want, neither will you. Dad? How are you? If you don't want to be threatened like this again, listen to me. Stop gambling. Han Qing! Stop right there! Where are you going? We haven't filmed you. Yeah, where are you going? You ruined my plans before. Now you have no backing and fallen into my hands. Let's see how happy you are. Get her! It's her. She calls herself a marriage savior. In fact, she's all about money and only works for the rich. She followed me illegally, made up lies and slandered me as a mistress. It's her. Remember this face? She's a fraud. Please follow me. We're live streaming. Everyone see her face clearly. That's right. She can do anything for money. Han Qing, without Feng Sikian, you're nothing. Everyone, take a good look. She's a fraud who should be exposed. Yeah, she's a fraud.
What's wrong? I found Assistant Han. He seems to be in trouble. Mr. Fung, come quickly. What? How's the acquisition plan going? Son-in-law, Mr. Lin. You better take care of yourself first. <sighs> Assistant Han has good judgment. She knows Hua Jing isn't reliable. Joining me and being my woman is the right choice. Try getting close to Han Qing again. Are women really that important to you? Think carefully. Causing such chaos for a woman. You have the Yin's princess and still want another woman. How dare you offend my brother-in-law? Luckily, Assistant Han is smart. She knows you're just using her. <laughs> Uncle. You better take care of your company's mess first. I hope you can still be as arrogant in a few days as you are now. I gotta go. What's wrong? Mr. Fong, I found Assistant Han. She seems to be in trouble. Come quickly. What? Yes, it's her. Everyone, take a good look. Here, look at yourselves. My job is to help those who are wronged in marriage, protecting their rights without breaking the law. Here, I can swear. I have never done anything illegal. What about you? Do you dare to swear? Have you never interfered in someone else's marriage? Huh? Han Qing, what about you interfering with Mr. Feng's marriage and getting kicked out of Hua Jing? Han Qing, without Feng Sikian, let's see how arrogant you can be. <laughs> Who said Assistant Han was kicked out of Hua Jing? <laughs> did, didn't she get fired? She did hand me her resignation letter, but I didn't accept it. So she's still mine. Who is he? So what? Still filming? <laughs> Don't you understand? Get out of here! Go, go, go. Go, go, go! Don't you have anything to say? Haven't I already said everything? So what? A nice day. So you came out for a walk? I was worried you'd get bullied. <sighs> what? You'll protect me. From anyone who bullies me? I'll protect you. From anyone who bullies you. Under what title? How about Mrs. Fung? <laughs> You're quite the joker.
sorry. Kung Si Kian. I have no choice. And can't make a choice. Mr. Fung, was it worth making that deal? With Mr. Yin to get that contract back. For Assistant Han? Everything you asked to arrange is settled. She's in trouble now. Jiwajin is going to jail. Aren't you going to do something? I'll protect you. From anyone who bullies you. Under what title? How about Mrs. Fung? You're quite the joker. In the face of survival, love is always the weakest thing. I never regret meeting you. But this time, it's really goodbye. Feng Zichin. Hello, Han Qing. What's going on with you? You're trending locally? Trending for what? Several things. Check it out quickly. Let me know if you need help. Huh? Quickly, quickly. Han Qing, what would you say about interfering in Feng Sikian and Yin Yi's marriage? Does it go against your principles as a marriage saver? You call yourself a marriage savior. Are you saving victims or mistresses? Get out! Answer Stop us! Filming. Come with me. Move back! Don't Move film! Move back! Please accept an interview. Don't film! Move back! Move back. Are you okay? I've traced the IP address of the Mastermind. Who is it? Tell me. It's her. Han Qing, you owe me this time. Thanks. You found me so quickly. Our relationship is over. Can't you let me go? Han Qing. You deserve all of them. Ji Weijun was caught. Feng Sikian did it. No. To be precise, it was you. You did this. I was wrong to come to you. A huge mistake from the start. You bitch. You're really crazy. All the Yin family shares have been given to Feng Sikian. Why can't he let me go? It is fine to let me be a nominal Mrs. Feng. But now, he wants to kill the one I love too? Huh? I didn't know it would turn out this way. You really not know or pretending to be stupid. Feng Sikian has fallen in love with you. 
Please. Cancel the contract between Yin Yi and Han Qing. I know you can do it. Under what condition? I will continue to stay in Hua Jing Group to be your puppet and executioner. But as for remarriage, that's impossible. Is it just for that woman? And for myself. For you, he's willing to give up Hua Jing. What are you doing? I'll kill you! <gasps> Let go of me, let go of me. I warn you, Han Qing is my woman. If you hurt her, I'll kill you. Come back! Get out of here! Does it hurt? Not really. Why did you help me? Our cooperation is over. We're even now.
What's the secret between you and the Yin family? There was a young boy. His parents died early. There was an old chairman of a company to save his company. He arranged for his daughter to marry the boy in a fake marriage, but the boy had no interest in the pampered daughter. As the company grew, the daughter and her lover wanted to get rid of the boy. They framed him, destroyed him. Do you think such people are capable of love? Sorry. You knew I lied to you, but still. Han Qing. I might have fallen in love with you long ago. When a hunter underestimates the danger before him, he will inevitably become someone else's prey. Mr. Feng, it seems I've lost to you after all. Do you know you almost caused a huge disaster? Welcome, Chairman Fong. My place is nothing compared to your big house. Yin Yi, my patience with you is limited. My dad schemed everything, only to invite a wolf into our home. You really have no shame. Taking a knife for the woman you love feels good, right? You don't care about your life. How about the child in your belly? How do you know? There are no secrets in this world, especially not with Jiu agents. What do you want? I can help you get the father of your child out of jail, but you have to agree to one condition. Feng Zikian, what right do you have to negotiate with me? 
You're just my dad's dog. <sighs> Who's really his dog? Do you think the old man, who always values profit, will stand by me? His puppet son-in-law, who can create endless wealth. Or by you, his daughter who only causes trouble? As long as you can get Ji Wei Jun out, I'll agree to any condition you propose. You truly love him. Remove all the videos about Han Qing online. Then cooperate with me to hold a press conference. And take your Ji Wei Jun and get out of Jiang City. By the way, at tomorrow's press conference, I will officially announce our divorce. Be on time. Thank you to all the reporters for coming to the press conference. Today I have something to announce. Please sit. Those photos and videos online... I made them up. Mr. Fung and Miss Han are innocent. Assistant Han did not interfere in our marriage. She is not a mistress. Why did you do it? When a woman gives up her career and loves someone with all her heart, her emotions can cloud her judgment. Everything I did was to test if Mr. Fung truly loves me. Because of me, I've caused you all a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry. Miss Yin Yi, is everything you said true? Or is this just a PR stunt by you and your husband to deceive the public? That's right, Mr. Fung. Why didn't you clarify it earlier when the rumors started? Now you do it? Is this a way to return to your family? Baseless accusations are called defamation. I didn't clarify earlier. Because I believed lies cannot become truth. But now I'm clarifying. Because these rumors and defamations have severely impacted my personal life. I don't want Hua Jing Group to be affected by my personal issues. This is the first. And last time I respond to it. Meanwhile, I have another important announcement. Miss Yin Yi and I. Let me say it. We are having a baby. This this is big news. Yes. How did this happen? What's going on? <laughs> Don't leave. Please give us an interview. Stop filming. Stop filming. Stop it. Stop filming. Say something. Yes, yes. Say something. Explain it.
What are you doing? You're hurting me. <laughs> Let go. Are you crazy? Feng Sikian, you don't trust me and I don't trust you. Now that I have a child, I have to think about his future. Since hunching is so important to you, I need to change the stakes. Not only do I want you to help Ji Weijun come back to me safe and sound, I also want you to be my child's father. Yin Yi, do you know what happens to those who threaten me? Feng Sikian, I know what you're thinking. If you want to protect Han Xing, you need to play along with this act of deep marital affection, or I'll expose you too. Let's see then. Is Assistant Han's reputation worse, or our Chairman Feng's? Try touching her and see what happens. Stop. Don't forget, I have evidence of your affair. I'll tell everyone. Han Qing interfered while I was pregnant. Do you want Han Qing to bear the stigma of being a homewrecker forever? Could you bear that? There they are. They're ahead. I see them. Chairman Fung is over there. Mr. Fang, look at the camera. Here, look at the camera, Chairman Fung. Is it true about the pregnancy? What's the situation? What's going on? Can you respond? <laughs> Honey, look, your clothes are wrinkled. Give me a smile. Yes, can you respond? Can you comment on the mistress incident? Yeah. Yes, please respond. Mr. Fung. Mr. Fung. Mr. Fung, can you explain what happened earlier? Explain the situation, please. Don't worry, everyone. I will surely be a good wife. And a good mother. Right, honey? Wait for me. I want to explain in person. Feng Zikian, since I chose to trust you, I will wait for you to explain in person. Why are you here? Feng Zikian isn't coming. Didn't you see the news? Don't worry, everyone. Chairman Feng and I will protect every inch of Huajing. Chairman of Huajing Group, Feng Sijian, and his wife attended the annual financial conference. They showed off their love. Mrs. Feng stated they would jointly safeguard Huajing. Stay tuned for more updates from our channel. Don't look at me like that. I'm not here to sow discord. I'm here to tell you, he's swamped over there. He won't come. Whether he comes or not is his business. Whether I wait or not is my own business. All right. I'll wait with you. Actually, I've wanted to ask you something for a long time. Go ahead. When did you become interested in me? When someone else started competing for you, that's when I got very interested in Miss Han. <laughs> Just kidding. It's getting late. Are you going to keep waiting? Let's go. Have a drink with me. If you come with me, I'll tell you how I found you.
Miss Han. Does my wine cellar meet your taste? Have a glass. Miss Han, how about I marry you? <laughs> Mr. Lin, are you joking? You're smart. Feng Sikian can't make any promises to you. You saw the conference today. Between Hua Jing and you, he chose Hua Jing without hesitation. What are you trying to say? Feng Sikian can't protect you, but I can. What's the catch? Be Mrs. Lin. Then you'll be an elder in the Yin family, Feng Sikian's aunt. No one will dare mess with you. <laughs> Sounds tempting. What do you get out of it? If I get you, I'll get all of Hua Jing. <laughs> Mr. Lin, I don't know. Have you ever heard the saying, All gifts given by fate are already marked with a price. Are you refusing me? <laughs> Mr. Lin, I don't think I'm that important. And I don't think I can help you get Hua Jing. Find someone else. Thanks for the wine. Wait. Miss Han. Look. Hua Jing's old chairman hospitalized after suffering a stroke. Mr. Feng and his wife are caring for him. They're very much in love. Hua Jing is poised to become a top national enterprise. Mrs. Feng stated she would leave all her shares to her son, who will take over and expand Hua Jing. Miss Han, you see, they are very close right now. Where do you stand in Feng Sikian's heart? All along you've been played like a fool by Feng Sikian and Yin Yi. Can you really accept it? If you can, you wouldn't have waited for him all night. In the end, <sighs> you were still deceived by Feng Sikian. All along, you've always sought justice for others. This time, you need to seek justice for yourself. Happy cooperation. Mrs. Lin. Mr. Feng? How's the investigation going? It's done. According to the surveillance footage from the camping site, Miss Han left with President Lin. But today is Miss Yin's birthday. Miss Han should come over. Got it. Where have you been all this time? Mr. Feng, Miss Han is my fiance. Of course, she was with me. Say that again. How many times do I need to tell you? What are you arguing about? 
brother-in-law, you're just in time. I gotta make an announcement to you. Miss Han and I are getting married soon. Welcome to join our wedding next week. Is this for real? Of course it's real. We will be as loving as Mr. Fung and Miss Yin. Uncle, what's the background of Assistant Han? All of us here should know it. Marrying someone like her? What will people think? Don't you care about your reputation? Yin Yi, should my career and future be like Mr. Feng's? Built on a woman's family background? Lin Zongyi, I've never built my career by exploiting a woman. Honey, I'm hungry. Let's get something to eat. All right. Today is my daughter's birthday. Let's sit down. He's using you, you know that? And you've never used me? If it's because of the news, I apologize. I was going to clarify my relationship with Yin Yi at the press conference, but it happened suddenly. Yin Yi threatened me with the child. I had no choice. Your matters don't concern me. Han Qing, I came to find you yesterday, but when I arrived, you had left with Lin Zongyi. Feng Siqian, you never put me first. Why should I always stand behind you? What are you doing? The banquet is about to start. Let's go. I'm coming, Zongyi. Mrs. Yin. Mrs. Yin. Mrs. Yin. Welcome, everyone. Zongyi, here you go. <laughs> Honey, I want some too. My wife is pregnant. She can't drink. <laughs> Zongyi isn't feeling well, I'll drink for him. A man shouldn't say he isn't well. <laughs> as long as my wife is happy. How's the Wanli real estate incident being handled? Brother-in-law, I heard that the Wanli real estate incident caused Hua Jing to lose the bid and stock price plummeted. As the major shareholder, Sikian must bear the main responsibility. You think I don't know about your little tricks behind the scenes? <laughs> you better not spread rumors. Before the accident, the crane operator received an unexplained one million and disappeared after it happened. Although the source of the money was well hidden, fortunately I found the operator. Where is he? Don't worry about it, uncle. He is under my protection. Once I find out who's behind it, I will give everyone an explanation. All right. Since Seekin has a solution, let's proceed with his plan. One month. Next month is Hua Jing's year-end project assessment. That's the deadline. 
Any requests or ideas? Discuss them with Zhong Yi. No need. One week is enough. But before that, I want someone from Mr. Lin. Feng Sikian. Han King is my wife. Don't go too far. At the previous Wanli Incident press conference, Assistant Han did a great job controlling the news in the shortest time. I believe she's one of the most familiar with the incident. Her help will be invaluable. No way. I disagree. Who is Assistant Han? Don't mess things up. Wife. You too, keep quiet. No tricks. You all discuss these things. I just want results. Enjoy your meal. I'm curious. Uncle, do you really miss Assistant Han? Or are you afraid I'll uncover something? Feng Sikian. I'll go. Assistant Han, you've been absent for over 10 days without reason. Report on time tomorrow, and your salary will be docked double. <laughs> Honey, I'll cover your salary. I'll drive you to work tomorrow. Whatever you want. I'll find it for you. Honey, we have to go to the hospital tomorrow. Let's go home and rest. Let's go.